Okay, okay, since I'm going to also dedicate this to all you RV owners out there looking for uh, a voice of reason. Let me apply a voice of reason. Most RV owners do not understand the nature of the beast and they do not, they're not able to rein themselves in because they don't understand the nature of the beast as to what is the most appropriate response when it comes to care of their RV cosmetically. Washing, waxing, polishing, that kind of stuff. So here I'm on the roof, uh, just like my, I don't know if I'm gonna uh, uh, blend these two videos together or keep this as uh, individual. I'll probably do this individually. So the point is, Johnny RV owner, if you wanna clean your roof, whether it's this rubberized material, whether you have this excessive layer of mold on it or not, in that pressurized pump sprayer, which is just a weed, uh, whatever sprayer, I have my super degreaser. There will be a link. I dilute it four to one. And you apply a lot of elbow grease. You simply spray on the area, and you can see this housing. It's a plastic textured housing for the AC unit on the roof. And I've got my non-abrasive synthetic pad. It's just a cheap pad. You can get them anywhere. Walmart, Target, 99 cent stores. You don't have to overthink that. It's just non-abrasive. You spray the degreaser. You scrub section by section so it doesn't dry. And voila. Before, after. Follow along. Before and after. So yes, this is all I would do to this RV because in many ways the ship has sailed and the ship has left the harbor. So accept a certain reality and apply the appropriate, uh, the appropriate conclusion uh, that has been done so with logic and reason.